Okay, so the next thing I want to look at with you guys, um, we've explored materials. Um, so we've got a red material here, a grey material here. Um, the next thing we can do for a step up from that is to look at the texture of the materials. Um, so any material that you have can have a texture applied to it. Um, so I'm just going to select this red material. Doesn't matter which one I grab which red material I grab, um, but you can see under my material palette here is the red material that we created. If I click the next button along in my um, tools here I can get to a texture control. I'll click on new to create a new texture and Blender gives us this default cloud texture. I'll, what I'll do is I'll split this window into two just so you can see. We'll do a few renders as we go along. So I'm just splitting this down. I'm going to set this window to be a UV image editor window. And I'll go ahead and render this image. Okay, so our Daleks turned pink. If I look down in my texture palette here, Here's the, the color of the texture, so I can change that. I'll just, um, for argument's sake, I'll set a lighter color so you can see more clearly what's going on. We'll render that again. Okay, so you can see this clouds pattern, the default that we've got has been applied to the model, and we've got um, the, the blue color, but we've also got some of the underlying red color that we originally had showing through. So this texture is applying a new color to our material. Um, and you can go ahead and play with those settings in there. I'd encourage you to have a look. Some of them, um, a lot of it doesn't make sense, but you pick it up over time. Things like size. Um, if I increase the size value here, it actually decreases the, the size of the cloud. So let's bring these up to, say, 4. Render again. See the cloud texture is now much finer. And for base textures, that... Um, can produce some pretty nice results just with your sort of default clouds texture and a few others that are there. Um, we'll look at that now. So under type here, um, we can change it from clouds to something else. Let's go magic. Render again. Okay. So with these, um, this list of texture types, there's a lot of mathematically created textures like our clouds, the magic one that we just applied. But where the real power comes into it is when you use an image as a texture. So under type here, I'll just change the type of texture to image. Come down under the image palette here, open an image. Now I'm going to give you some... Um, images that you can practice with. They'll just be in, in your videos folder under the assets folder here and I've got a wood texture. So this is simply a photograph of a wooden floor from direct top down and if I render my image straight away you'll see okay how um, Dalek now has a wood texture applied. Um, if we look at it, and this is often the case when you just chuck a, an image texture straight on to um, your object, is that the image will sort of distort in various places around the picture. So you can see here it sort of curves in a circular fashion around the top of the model. And down here we get much straighter lines on the side, we've got some diagonals. Um, so it's just choosing a default method for attaching this image to our model. It has its limitations, um, and there are workarounds for that, which of course we'll get to over time. Uh, but the thing you want to explore is this projection setting here. So for instance, a spherical projection. I like to think of it as sort of wrapping the image. What are you going to wrap the, um, if this is wrapping paper, what shape is your wrapping paper as you bring it into the model? And in this case, we've got a spherical map. If I render that again. You can see instantly the, the way that this image has been applied to the model has changed. 
looks quite good on our um, top section here. Here we've got a few various artifacts going on. Um, so you can try them all, see which one produces the best result for your model. Oops. Uh, what was that? A tube. Try a cube. That'll do for now. Alright, so we've got a wooden um, Dalek.